Hey everyone, welcome back to Tales of Berseria. <laughs> Don't know why, but this game is so loud when I play it. I have to reduce my headset uh, volume just to like two percent. Take a look at this. Ridiculous. Damn, almost perfect. Got some new stuff. I knew this would be big. What and treasure. a rare treasure, huh? Uh, we're still gonna score here, though. Set. It was a lot set. All right, he got possessed by um, Eleanor. <laughs> totally not a, a future character from our that's gonna be in our party or anything. Sorry if my voice still sounds uh, rough, but I've been sick for over a week now. Kind of ridiculous. Hoping I'll eventually get better. I described the process of explaining why my voice is rough, but it's kind of disgusting, so I'll spare you the details. Is there something right there? Yeah, there was. I also looked at the um, DLC. Some of it is free, like free items that I could uh, boost myself with. I don't think they'd help that much, uh, assuming I read them properly, but uh, uh, that's what one of the DLCs is. Another one is like $25 for a special booster type of items that just makes the game easier. Something like that. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea to get that one. Doesn't sound worth it. And the rest is basically just costumes. Hi. Oh no, a dead end! And so the adventure came to a close in a most sudden and unsatisfying manner! Anticlimatic, you mean? Cracked. That means. Was there a wall like that before? Eh, maybe. So exorcists are actually the vessels for their Malachim. You can do that too, can't you, Mogulu? Of course! This fair maiden has won the Malachim's Choice Award, Most Desirable Vessel, three years running! Oh? Then you wouldn't mind replacing Eleanor as Lafisette's vessel, I hope. Thanks! But no thanks. I have my hands full dealing with Bienfu as it is. If I ate Bienfu, you'd have room. Wouldn't work, kiddo. You saw it with your own eyes. Even if only for an instant, that kid actually held his own against the power of Inominat. Not even the resplendent Mogilu can handle something of that power. Indeed. After everything we've seen, it's obvious there's more to Lafayette than meets the eye. Yeah, but that Eleanor woman was still able to become his vessel. That's because, unlike Miss Mogilu, Madam Eleanor actually tried. Anyway, we need to find her and beat her. She'll just bring us more trouble the longer she's out there. Oh, we'll find her. No doubt about it. Hello? Where do I go? Uh... 
Oh, cool shop, I think. That is the shop, right? Ah, you guys again? Well, look who set up shop here. You couldn't have shown up at a better time. We need more supplies. I'm happy to help you all. But this time, I really, really needs to charge a little extra. How much extra are we talking here? Ooh, you haven't heard the stories, little turtles. Word has it, there's a spooky monster that's been eating traveling merchants around these parts. <laughs> eating merchants? She takes the shape of a black-haired girl, and when she finds greedy merchants, she gobbles them up head first. Although, if the greedy merchant was a turtle's, I bet she'd start with the crunchy shell. Ah! I'm not greedy, I swears it. Look, I have special sales going on. Everything's marked down to normal prices. How generous of you. Magulu, give the nice turtles the smile he lives for. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Much obliged. Nope. Give me those life bottles. Uh. How do I? Oh, whatever. Yeah, I'm supposed to use the control pad. I was using the stick. <laughs> Neat. Does he sell new stuff now? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Well, this shell shredder is way better for um, velvet here. <laughs> Could have equipped it a long time ago. Well, I've enhanced all my stuff as best as I could, so I think I'm really ready now. Also, this looks like some kind of ruin. Where are we? Judging from the style of the walls and columns, I'd say this place is an ancient underground temple of Eumacia. Eumacia, the Empyrean of Earth. So it was by no coincidence that the Earth Pulse led us here. How did the temple builders know where to dig to connect to an Earth Pulse? Did they just get lucky? Just wham, there it is. An Earth Pulse doesn't work that way. It's a flow of natural force ordinary humans can't sense. But in those days, there were more humans capable of sensing that which others couldn't. It was people like that who guided the rest to build their temples closer to the Earth Pulses, closer to their gods. Uh-huh. So, since Empyreans control the forces of nature, people viewed the Earth Pulses as embodiments of the gods themselves, is that it? Right. In the time when Empyrean worship was at its peak, temples like this were built all over. And I'm guessing they all looked pretty similar. So until we go outside, we're no closer to knowing where we are. That sums it up. Hmm. I wonder if they found any high-quality ore when they dug this hole. You know, for making swords. <sighs> I don't know why I bother explaining anything to you. You know... I'm starting to think you just enjoy it. Mm, even Velvet is starting to catch on to that. Now let's see what's over here. Optional stuff, I hope? Uh, doesn't look too optional yet. This is nice, though. Looks optional, but I bet there's a yeah, there's a wall I can break down there. Thorny waistcoat. Is that a better weapon I can put? Not for you. Yep, way better. Gosh. So less, much less defense, but increases attack. So. Yep, got a winner. You're new.
Uh oh. Well, this is new. If I had known I'd fight one of these stupid things, I wouldn't have used my Mystic Arch earlier in the fight. Wow, that wasn't too difficult. Hanging with the hangman! So that was a super powerful boss, huh? That was actually a lot easier than expected. Also, my expedition has already returned, because it's been over half an hour. Take a look at this. Ugh. Eh. Nothing else? Scout ship setting sail. Ooh. Very optional area. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get rid of you. Ignore the skeletons. Uh, what? He just appeared right in front of me. God. I was trying to avoid them. Thought I missed a plant. Hmm. Uh, who knows? Maybe I missed something else. Like maybe that uh, <laughs> the end of the hall had another secret door I could have kicked down or just walked right through. Hmm. here first then. Hopefully that's the optional way. Uh, won't know until we get to the end. Rosemary and... Oh, it's just still... That quite the optional area. It's in here. Varnished earring. Hmm. It's for you, Magalu. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is worth it. <laughs> At least not yet. I don't try to enhance it. This has to be the right way. Uh, unless there's a secret right over there. Kind of obvious. Also, a cat's chest. 80. And it gave me a drop earring. Hmm. 
Eclipse is probably better for him, for us blocker, but I haven't enhanced it. I could go back to enhance it, but I'm leaving with the memory locker for now. But the drop earring, what the heck is that supposed to be? It's an attachment. Oh, it's probably an accessory, yeah. Uh, how do you zoom in? That's the item. Shit. Shit. And that seems to be the exit over there. Ah, uh, life bottle. Oh, this must be a super boss. It's like a spider of some sort. Uh, I think I'm ready. I do need to heal Roku Roku right here, though. Yep. First, let's get this chest right here. A forward kill. The spider queen. Hurricane, hurricane. <laughs> Ow. Ow. So yeah, we've been kind of bullying this boss, but when it wants to be angry, it wants to be angry. I think it's a spellcaster mostly. Ow. Okay, yeah, so basically that's its rush. Oh my goodness. Item, item, item. Okay, come on. I'm trying, I'm trying to block that. Fast again? Yes. yes, I can. Okay, yeah, that attack is basically an instant kill unless you dodge, that's for sure. Dying so many times. Okay. 
Again, just dodge it. Finally. <laughs> so yeah, as long as you're on this boss, it'll never be able to do anything to you. But if you let it uh, get even one single special on you, uh, you might be in trouble. As long as you stay on the defensive, though, you should never be in trouble. I mean, like, if you let it get the upper hand on you, as long as you make sure that the other characters don't foolishly go in front of it to get hit by its super powerful attacks, you'll be fine. That's what it seems like. But yeah, for like the first half of the match, we were just wailing on it. It's only after it got uh, two of my characters down that uh, I had to like uh, rethink my approach. Is this really a new area? I felt like it was going to be a new area, but nope. Uh, it doesn't seem to be any breakable walls here. Yeah, okay, so definitely over there is where you need to go. Meanwhile, right here, we got... No chest. Oh, another thorny waistcoat. Good. He should put it on. Hi. you be long gone. I apologize for disappearing on you. I was there, and then in the next moment, I was gone. And Luffy said? He's resting inside me. As far as I can tell, he seems healthy again. Your name's Eleanor, right? If I defeat you, you'll be his vessel and follow my orders until the day you die. I accept. But conversely, should you lose, I will take your life. It's one versus four. Uh, oh, I have to I fight can alone. handle myself. Really? <laughs> Let's just gank up on her. said to help you fight of course this duel is me versus you <laughs> i'd better not hear any excuses after your defeat then Not even using spells. 
Okay, let's let's just finish this off. She does have spells, but she's gonna use. What? How the hell did? Okay, that is nonsense. How the hell did she do that? I had like a thousand HP left. I literally had a thousand HP, or at least a 900 or something, and she just consumes it all in one hit. Or one spell, I should say. Okay, that's better. She didn't use her stupid spell as often this time. I think last time uh, she managed to cast her spell because uh, the move I used barely was barely out of reach for her. Oh. Why did you stop? I know you can't kill me as long as I'm his vessel. I'm just abiding. So wait, I lose, game over, but I win. I end up uh, at the uh, point of her weapon because I lose anyway. The Abbey shaped you well. However, once your sword is drawn, never waver. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle, right? Lord Artorius's teachings? What a failure I have been. I'll... I'll keep my word. I will follow your orders. To the day I die! Don't! My body... I can't move! How? Since when can a Moloch overpower his own vessel? Hey. Luffy said, are you feeling better now? Y yeah. Looks like her body is reacting to the bond. Yeah, I know the drill. She'll get a high fever and stay zonked out for a bit. No biggie. Carrying her will slow us down. We can't afford that risk when we're venturing into parts unknown. Let's rest here until she's recovered then. She's one of us now, isn't she? As long as she's Lafayette's vessel. That's true. Hello? Yeah, I'm gonna be stopping the video after all these nonsenses. Oh my goodness! Oh, we did discover a new area though. So let's see. Eh, there's some stuff I can still find here. A demon 
a Moloch, a witch, and now an exorcist. We've turned into a real band of misfits. I didn't have any other choice. We're stuck with her. Yeah, I know. We can't afford to lose Lafayette. Now that we know the full extent of Inominat's strength, we need that boy more than ever. Do you think Inominat really is an Empyrean? You got me, but I do know this. Whatever he is, he's no ordinary Moloch. And the Abbey intends on using that power. To what end, I couldn't say. If we're going to win this, we need to uncover Inominat's true nature and the Abbey's secret goals. Indeed. At the very least, I think we can safely assume that Eifried's disappearance is part of their schemes. We might be able to extract some information out of that Eleanor woman as well. Agreed. But no torture. I'm not shattering our only vessel. Yeah, I get that. Given the pact they share, if Eleanor goes down, Lafayette becomes a demon, right? What? No one told me that! That's just how it is between Moloch and Vessel. I know she's a threat, but we need to keep her close for the time being. Well, we sure are in it deep now. Man, Artorius and Nominat. Neither one of them's a force to be reckoned with. Then why do you look so happy? Because I'm still alive. And if I'm alive, I can fight. You're certainly... Optimistic. That's just the sort of demon I am. What about you, though? You gonna call that whole revenge thing off? If only. That's just the sort of demon I'm not. Then we need to find a way to beat them. You can mope after you're dead. We? Oui. You're still going to help? Yeah. After all, I wouldn't be here if Lafayette hadn't saved my life. Surely you know me by now. I might not look it, but duty and honor flow through my veins. What is over there? Well, I uh, probably shouldn't go there. Maybe. I'm not sure. I do want to save, just in case. Because there's probably going to be a bunch of cutscenes after this. Further extending the length of the video. Star. That's where Lafayette is. Oh, there's also a chest over here. Hey, don't overwork yourself. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Isn't it obvious? I... I disobeyed you, Velvet. Don't sweat it. I'm still alive thanks to you. I just... I didn't want to see you die. That's why I... Why I did that. To save you. I'm sorry too. Acting the way I did. Treating you like an object. When I came with you, that was my own choice. You gave me the freedom to choose. And what would you choose now? We only have more troubles ahead. You're still going to fight, aren't you? Yeah, I can't stop now. Even so, I've made my choice. I'm coming with you. I see. Anyway, it's not like I have any idea where we are now. That's a good point. Ahaha! Ha. But an object misused is one thing. A person misused is quite another. I was wondering where Magdalene went. What's your point? 
What's your point, is what I want to know. Not only did you blow the whole revenge thing, you didn't even leave a scratch. Do you have any plan on where to go from here? I'll admit it. The Nominat's power is far beyond what I could ever have imagined. But I'll never give up. No matter how many times I have to try, I'll devour them all. Bet you 100 gold you break first. Huh? You heard me. 100 gold says that you give up. I lost a bet with Rokuro when you had to go and survive. Cost me 10 gold. I'm just looking to come out on top. Whatever, fine. Oh, then it looks like we have a bet. There might be some fun in me sticking around after all. Not that I much care how it all turns out. I'm just looking to kill time. Hey, Velvet. I've got something that might help with Inominat. Oh, is this that book you took from the villa? It is. Look closely at the crest on the cover. It's the same one from the temple. Does that book say anything about Inominat? Yes. But I can't read it. It's written in the ancient tongue. Oh, don't cry, baby boy. My friend Grimoire might be able to decipher that for you. Really? Well, maybe, maybe not. She'd have to take a look first. Well, where is she? Your friend, I mean. No idea. The last letter I got from her was sent from me salts down in South Gand. Not much to work with here. True, but I'll have fun watching you try. Oh, I'll find her. Don't you worry about that. That's the spirit. Don't give up just yet. Yay, Commander of the Sea for some reason. <laughs> <sighs> we'll rest inside these ruins. You're still weak. Yes, we will. Uh, but that will be for next time. Hope you all enjoyed this video and a lot of it is day. Bye-bye!